For centuries, human were at pinnacle of all creation, until strange occurrence of a new gene structure changed everything, the new genetic makeup was for superior to that of humans, giving birth to an entire different species we call, chimios, a minor enhancement to strength, endurance, and regeneration are all simply complementary asset of a chimios, one third of the world's population is said to be chimio, but it that was not terrifying enough, they also developed special abilities. Recognized as a talent, most talents are predominantly harmless, the ability to manipulate a simple element, or control over the internal structure, creating and manipulating extensions of one's body, in rare cases, to change the entire cellular makeup of one's body at will and a vast variety of other mutation, but not all talents, are harmless, the great power of the few elite chimios, cause many humans to tremble in fear are of their possible extinction as their power may result in the ultimate decimation of the human race. These talents are well known in this world. Then we saw the town, port of Spain, location, Trinidad, and Tobago, there is a man announcing that, the next up, for his third fight of the night. Newcomer. The human titan from the Red Ember Gym. Chu Hart, and his opponent the deadly sharp Kaimayo, 15 wins and 4 losses, from Salt Lake Gym. Quill, Chu vs Quill. Human vs Kaimayo. Expect blood people. We don't have much of these fights for medical reasons, but don't count the human out yet, his three win looked promising, and then Quill said, a human? While Chu Hart thinks, a 15 win career. What's your special trick? Then fight announce, Quill said, once you step in this octagon there's no room for pity, so why don't you come close hard? And then he stretch his muscle to porcupine like sharp tip, his talent in his muscle fiber he can extend them flexing, them harden the skin which covers these muscle spikes making sharp quills. They start fighting, quill throw his punch, while Chu defend him, then quill hit with his leg while Chu defend himself again with his block hand, quill said, come on heart. Show him something, you sure did turtle up with all that defending. Chu thinks, you are covered on spikes, who is going to attack a defense like that, you are the one turtle up, Quill said, hard, and he will give you free shot. Come on. Chu Hart thinks, this is clearly bait, but perhaps he can slip through. Then he go low and while Quill punching him, he avoid he dodge his punch, lower down while his abdominal part is wide open, Chu then prepare a punch but sudden from that abdominal part all spikes appears that hits the Chu, Chu said, cheeky bastard, while Quill said, on your feel fit heart, Chu concludes, he can choose the exact spot to Quill at will, a solid defense when facing a human challenger, however, the fact that you are not permanently in a fully quilled state, then Chu said, you can't hold your quill for a long can you? He had say 30 to 60 second tops. Quill said, not bad you figured me out, so, come on. Try me again. Chu heart dripping blood while said, try you again? You are baiting me for the second time. He said, okay he'll bite. And then Chu doing some crazy footwork there and rounding him, avoiding his then Chu heart jump above, and punch him his face and that's announcer said, the human's first hit. After that Chu jump over Quills and prepare for a kick then Quill smile and think, what a fool. A jump attack. Now he cross his both hand and spikes all through for defense and thought, now Chu Hart can't alter his trajectory mid-air. This is the end of the line for Hart, this is his win while Hart is still in mid-air sudden he draw back his kick, which surprise Quill with wide open eyes and then Chu Hart sat down and ready for a powerful punch, he punch Quill in his stomach very hard, Chu Hart prepare another punch and said, left, then Quill said, he won't to be letting that happen again. And he spikes through all over his face and said try, then Hart smirk. And said, right, and he again punch him in his stomach then Quill hold his hand on that position and said, he won't lose another, and spikes his stomach that Quill Chu's hand, Chu Hart smile and said, you bait her, you can't spike two places at once that your jaw is wide open. Then Quill's eye is widen, 
Ben Chu Hart punch Quill's jaw very hard and that's KO he win the battle, one hour later, he is wiping his blood, washing blood stains from clothes, while he see himself into mirror wounded and cuts all over his body, then his room's door open two men appears and said, Chu Hart, you messed up, they both staring him and said, they cut to the point, we bet a lot of money on you losing tonight, so the fact that you won, is a major problem, for you, it's simple, you. Give us back every cent you made tonight and we will let you lick your wound, and don't try to be hero, you are clearly mess after what our boy Quill did to you. Then Chu said, you should close the door before we start, then one of a man bring out a knife and said, very well, then outside there is a bright moon on sky and it's raining outside, a moment later there is a reception on there a receptionist she see Chu heart and thinks, he is so cute, then Chu come to her, she said. You were amazing tonight, don't worry about the scratches, she asked him to spending time with him but Chu said, he have couple of things to do at home, then she gives his winning money and try to flirt with him she said, sweetheart if you could ever got cold, you know where to find me, then Chu Hart said, by the way tell admin there are two injured person in his changing room, no idea what happened there, later that night, he is bathing and thinking about, pain, it lets us know we are, alive but the reason he endure this better not be in vain. The following morning, there is a car standing outside his home, his friend waiting for him, the lady in the car said, he has got some women in there, he's never on time, then Kevin said, he don't think any woman can stand, chew for more than a day, he came out while closing door he said, speak louder, not like it's only 6 in the morning, then Kevin said, you talk to me, he have known you 15 years, it's been 7 years since you have had this apartment, none of us have ever seen the inside, you sell drug bro because my grandma needs advil then he said get your butt in car you better not make us late then they go to red ember gym this is dojo and they're his dojo mates and an old man leo thomas a war hero who is their teacher and treat them like his son then we saw there is a training a man kicking in fast pace that old man is simply dodges the kick the man again start kicking him with fast move that old man defending him swiftly with his leg, then the fighter step back and he start circling around him with speed then that old man said, if you talent, his speed, being predictable would only means one thing, then he prepared to launch a attack on, old man turn and said, you are using it entirely wrong, and he hold his punch that man is shock and the old man said, awesome, you will listen and listen closely and hit him with the various hitting punches, further said, you are all unique, what makes each of you special, then that old man start final attack and hit him with his palm, Azam throw away behind. Old man continue his teaching that, if you fail to maximize these unique differences of yours, the gift that makes you one of a kind. Then that old man holds Azam hand and lifts him above and said, you will become as common as human fighter. And then moving him around like child and toss him mid air and prepare his kick, Azum's eyes widen, then old man kicked him and Azum throw away Arena's end side while other mates are watching all this, the old man said to Azum, don't option out just at sun, once more, and Azum said, yes master. Then there are four dojo mates there, and one of them said, as you can see, Azum decided he wanted go first, then second man said, poor kid had a bright future ahead of him, then that old man again beaten Azum and said, that's enough for now Azam, you may rest, we will work on your assault tactics later, and then old man turn and said, Chu, come here. Then Kevin make him fun while Chu is scared and sweating all over, Chu in the arena said, good morning, while old man seen angry and said, you fool, he further said, you have done it again, fighting behind my back after he specially forbade it. You are human. What happens when you are forced to fight a Kaimayo you exceeds your skill? What then? Look at your wound. He will not lose another son. Then old man slap him. Chu feel like, his soul is out of his body. He hold his cheek while old man is still saying, aren't you an underground fighter now? Let us begin with. Then three dojo mates shocked and turn. 
there are someone coming and he is smiling and said, why so serious Leo? While old man is giving him cold gaze, then three men enter there and one man said, he bet you never expected to see him again. Hirokash Rampersad, a narcissist, top 150 ranking of the world's strongest Kaimayos, his arrogance makes him the most hated man in the country, Kevin said, Master, you know this fool? No one is allowed in the dojo during training sessions, he clearly couldn't read the sign, illiterate maybe? Then old man said, you are not welcome here, Rokash. While all the boys are gathered there, Rokash said, that's no way to greet your favorite past student, teacher. Chu is shocked to hear that, every boy is annoyed by that and Rokash smiles and said, you boys got some spark. How about sparring? Old man is slowly start burning and thought, you still have not changed and his eyes start fire and all body emitting fire around and old man said, enough of this, then Chu surprise and Rokash and his team watching him that old man said, this is no longer your home Rokash. He will not repeat himself, you will leave at once, then Rokash turned back and said, 25 years since he have stepped foot in this old place, you have no idea what true strength is. You will acknowledge his strength before you die old man, he turned, see angry gaze and said, that may come sooner than you think. Then later that evening Chu Hart is clearing the floor, while the old man is putting all things to their place, Chu said, you all right master, who the hell does he think he is, threatening you like that? What happened between you and Rokash, master said, he was an old student of many years ago, he was one of my strongest, and Rokash problem was that he never understood the seriousness that goes with a fight. One day, behind my back he challenged a young man named Jacob, that fight was a mistake from the get-go. Don't know what he was trying to prove, but he killed Jacob, there was a big investigation and he was cleared unintentional homicide, he hasn't been back since ever come again, Chu said, he'd kick his ass if he ever comes again, Master smiled and said, look at my little human boy making threats. Chu smile and says, whatever old man. Your student got your back this time, Master said, you go now, he know you have your usual chores to attend to, after that Chu Hart goes to meet Doctor, Chu is his regular patient so have some kind of friendly relation, Doctor asked him to quit underground fight because his body condition in not good, he see Chu's lab report, a punchy or lung, fractures the both clavicle and bruised shoulder socket, severe tissue and muscle and many damage to hand, nerve. Doctor said, he cannot make you stop what you do on your own time, your body is suffer than the average human, thank you Thomas training but you are still lucky to be alive, you can't hide this from your friend and family forever, your body is at the breaking point young man, you keep pushing it too far, Chu said with smile, he really do appreciate your concern for him, beside, the money is going to be a very good cause, later that night. Leo Thomas is sitting on chair and reading a book then someone opens the door, it was Rokash and his man is coming, Master said, you really have not changed, Rokash. Meanwhile Chu and Kevin are worried for Master, Kevin assured him that Rokash can't do anything to Master so don't worry, then we saw Red Ember Jim is burning while inside that Master standing and Rokash is kneeling on ground, the Master is bullet shot on his abdomen, he see his blood and think, he hate being old, is he really too weak to avoid a firearm now? The boy is scared and then we see him holding a gun, then Rokash said, where did you get that gun, you fool? He told you he was mine to finish. The boy going to say something but Rokash scream him that look out boy, while master is approaching on him with ultimate phoenix spear, that hit that boy and to be thrown on the wall, the master standing while burning and said, is this how you raise your nephew? Can you even begin to comprehend responsibility? Rokash greeted his teeth said, you talk of responsibility as through you understand it, old man you refuse to acknowledge his power, even after he put this failed dojo on the map. This place has never housed as a stronger student, Jacob was now where near his progress, master angrily said, you will not speak his name again, and then they faces each other, master said, 
because he did in fostering a deprived mind in your nephew, with all that he had with you, not only as a student but as a son, but somehow you seem to have surpassed the point of reasoning, then he burned like phoenix, a trail of fire behind him, master said, this night, he will address his mistakes. Then that old man jump over toward Rokash while Rokash said, come old man, then start fighting each other, old man is kicking him while Rokash is depending himself, old man is beating him with left and right with his finest fist move, lower cut abdominal a powerful punch hit him. Rokash coughed blood after that impact then old man hold his collar from behind and throw him up, and then he prepared to jump, while Rokash is seeing him widen eyes and thinking, what? An aerial attack. Then old man jump toward him and pass him beside go higher than Rokash, Rokash thinks, he won't give me a second to activate his talent. Then old man prepared his another attack and fall from above Rokash, old man comes near behind him with bursting into fire, Rokash thought, he has completely frozen. Then old man hit him with his both hand in mid air, then old man said, Ilios. Descending meteor, one he burst more fire and jump on falling Rokash in air and he fall down on ground there is a big blast happens, the old man is trying to standing on ground and think, he is far too old to heal a wound like this anymore, there is a bullet hole in his stomach, the old man said, you knew my strength would deteriorate with age, congratulation, you have placed me second anyway from my death, but as for you Rokash after saying this the old man is vanished and come near to. Rokash face and said, as he perish, he will ensure you live the rest of your days maimed. And then the old man is sitting near holding an eye of Rokash while Rokash is in very pain screaming loudly, like hell, Rokash nephew frightened and dragging him said, uncle, get up, the building is already caving in on itself. We have to move, while Rokash shouting, damn, Leo, this is you grave old man, then the old man is on his last breath kneeling down exhausted and spilling blood, his last moment he still calling Chu heart name, and slowly, slowly he engulfed by fire. Next day, there is raining outside, Chu is sobbing, they holding funeral and his students are standing there, they all talked about Leo Thomas, how he was a great man, he was gathering in even of his passing, while everyone is sobbing, one of man said to Chu, that they know Rokash did this, we all want revenge, sitting here on our asses solved nothing. Azam said, looking around he found Rokash's organizing tournament and the winner get to take him one versus one, they want you to represent our red ember gym, Chu said, he's the only here without power, what sense does make, Kevin said, we don't care about that meaningless proposition, being human has never limited you, and you won't be alone, he will be your side, then Chu said, very well, once we agree on the same target, when do we start? Four months later, every Red Ember Gym member come to the Rokash Enterprise Combat Stadium, Azam said, this is a lot of peoples, everyone's loves to watch a fight, he already booked you two changing room, Chu is fight number 8 and Kevin is fight number 7, while Kevin girlfriend said, Kevin Charles you will be careful. Then there is an announcement happened on TV that, today we take a look at the host of the Central Human Mixed Martial Arts Tournament Rokash Rampersad, then everyone at their faces turn angry after hearing, the commentator telling about that, the world top 150 strongest fighter about Rokash, 61 years old millionaire, then that talk about Rokash wealth and his history and last he talk about his teacher Leo Thomas and the share deepest sympathy to Mr. Rokash, then long hair man said, if they only knew what the bastard did. Chu Hart prepare for his fight, then there is an interview of Rokash, he said power cannot be faked, you either possess it or you don't, however for those who do, the line between mediocre and immense power, is drawn with the blood of those who disregarded the absolute gap, interviewer said, powerful words from the global rank 97 strongest Kaimayo to date, then interviewer said, about his most recent combat scar, makes these man twice as intermediate more, now they making plan, the one man said, don't die in your first fight, this is a brutal contest raider tournament, opponent allowed to kill each other to instantly win a round, then announcement happened, 
ladies and gentlemen our fourth match of the night, we have Kevin from East. And his opponent Sun Raz the untouched. They both stare each other, announcer said, Akaimayo whose speed is unparalleled, as a result, Sun Raz has never been injured in his MMMA career. Kevin smiled and said, a tank versus speedster, he liked their taste. He knows you man, you are like one of the fastest Kaimayos right? Well, he is actually one of the toughest. It take a lot of move, so let's have a chill fight while he didn't complete his full word Sun Raz is appearing behind and kicking him and Kevin to be thrown away then Sun Raz said, listen closely, all have failed in trying to lay finger only him, you shall be no exception, then Kevin is angry and he approach with a punch but Sun Raz avoid his punch and kick him in his stomach and he run around Kevin and then three Sun Raz surrounded him, Azam surprisingly said, the talent is called image. Fusion threshold, his movement provide his after image enough time materialize creating duplicate himself. Then Chu Hart shouting and said, get that defense up, you are a breathing tank, then Kevin said, he's trying to mit. While Sun Raz is hitting him from everywhere, while he is taking more hit then he slowly changing his muscles and said, don't underestimate him, while his eyes is open wide yellowish glow and he transform into a rhino hide. His talent is hide forge, the ability to create a protective shell that increase defensive and offensive capability, Sun Raz is surprised to see, then Kevin punching him Sun Raz easily dodges it and thinks, what kind of talent is this? Then announcer says, Kevin reveals his talent after being pushed. Meanwhile fight is still going on, 10 Sun Raz running towards him and circling him, Kevin think, game on, this height makes him far tougher, there is no way he can match his speed, then Sun Raz attacking from in front on his face with his leg, Kevin thought, his attacks are going through his armor then Chu Hart shouted you are taking too many hits, find his weakness, now, what did master teach us, Kevin try to hit him but he is too fast, then he saw on the ground and think, the ground, while. Sun Raz approached very fast with red glowing eyes and said, here come, while Kevin said, come then, and then he raised his foot at the same speed and hit the ground, that cracks the ground then Sun Raz unbalanced and said, no, then Kevin holding Sun Raz with his neck and prepare a punch while thinking you may have been granted speed Sun Raz, but he was granted a power, then a powerful punch is coming to Sun Raz and hit him in his stomach, he thrown away on a barrier, everyone surprise, he is happy. Announcer said incredible, is Kevin testing the strength of protective barrier? And then Sun Raz is on the barrier falling behind unconscious, then Kevin slowly off his powers and said, that's for the cheap shot. And then Sun Raz is on stature out of commission, then Kevin girlfriend hugging him and his friend is celebrating while he asked Louise, where's Chu? Louise said, he went to prepare himself, his next fight, honestly, he is very worry, Chu is never this serious, the whole plan is simply to expose Rokash. However, he's afraid to see Chu's reaction when he sees him face to face, then announcer said, that next. Our following fight? Chu Hart vs Nanaku. Paired based on their previous tournament scores, the human fighter Chu. He said, human, his combat wisdom is reflected in skill, and ladies and gentlemen, they're the mutant fighter, Nanaku, then Nanaku said to Chu, he pissed, the tournament where he showcase his talent to the world, that is disgrace him by having fight with no talent, then he bring out his long tongue out and said, no matter, after you die, human, he will simply move on to the next fight, then they both facing each other on arena, Nanaku smiled and said, what is this, a joke, Chu Hart said. Don't stand in my way. While Rokash is thinking that he looked familiar boy, then they prepare for fight and start, Nanaku throw his punch that Chu easily divert other side, Chu punch him that Nanaku hold his hand and Chu back kick him which he blocked by hand, Chu's friends happy and amaze, then Louise asked Nanaku's teammates, what is he, a shark or high talent user? Then there a man said, your question shall be answered shortly, their fight goes on, they kicks, they defend himself, then Chu hit him with elbow Nanaku blocks with cross hands, 
Then Nanaku said, he can smell your rage, then he hit him same way as Chu and Chu defend himself as same Nanaku did, Chu kick him, Nanaku defend with his hand, they both goes hand to hand, face to face and head to head, Nanaku said, you thought you would die a better death than this, he have killed more than you have faced, you will die like all the others, with the shame of the fear, etched upon your face, then Chu heart jump above with both leg up and kicked him with his both leg in his chest, Nanaku hold his clothes and teared them and said, prey always puts up fight. How about we get serious, human, Chu said, you are getting in the way of his mission, Nanaku, Louise said, they are evenly matched, then red bearded man is smiling and said, do you really believe a man human can match Kaimayo killing machine? Chu punched him on face but he keeps smiling, red bearded man fiercely continue that Nanaku was a bread for war, the death march is his true element, just you wait for first blood. Then we saw Nanaku is punching, Chu avoided, and go behind him and hit him from behind, then Nanaku hold Chu neck, and smile maniacally and he slashed Chu's abdomen, his friends shocked, the red bearded man smiling and said, it has only just begin, announcer said, Nanaku, draws first blood. Nanaku smiling while Chu holding his wound, lots of blood on ground, Nanaku licking the blood and said, let's give the people a show heart. Bleed for him, while Chu heart holding his wound and thought, straight through his vest. It's burns hold on. You just need to make it to the next round. After that he prepare a punch and try to hit him, Nanaku dodged it, and he kick him that Chu heart thrown away and blood spilled on ground, while Chu is there, then there was blood on the ground, Nanaku kneel down and licking that blood, while calling Chu heart, and said, he can't seem to decide, and then he screamed loudly with big smile and said, your head on a spike or heart in a jar, then the announcer said, this fight is getting crazy, while all the audience is cheering for them. Chu Hart is barely defend himself with Nanaku attacks, Chu Hart wounded in his face, shoulder, and his hand, Nanaku said, the more you bleed, the less you will breathe, now Chu's friends were worrying, Kevin shouted, this is looking bad, wake up Chu, find a blind spot now. Nanaku teammates said, hey, you look worried, rhino boy, the red bearded man said, do not waste your breath, boy. The hunting ground is a spectacle to behold, you see during the hunt, Nanaku draws first blood, he has already won, then Chu's eye wide open, his eyes shocked to see something and then there Nanaku was growing like hell and he became more fierce and dangerous everyone shocked, everyone's eyes and mouth is open wide with surprise, and Nanaku said, while your blood spills more. His instinct overflow. Azam said, stop this fight, while red bearded man said, too damn late, behold, Nanaku become the blood frenzied hunter, Nanaku is screaming and roaring like predator, meanwhile, audience is enjoying the show and cheering them, Nanaku smiled when Chu heart confused and Rokash was curious and excited further, then Nanaku is totally transform into shark with sharp blade along his body, he's now a killing machine, he approaching toward Chu heart, announcer said, is anyone concerned for the human? Chu thought, that's explain why he looked like a shark from the beginning, Nanaku jumps over him, Chu dodged it Nanaku landed on the ground and the ground cracked around, then Chu start his fast movement and he punch him in his face while Nanaku is smiling, Chu was surprised to see, then Nanaku punching him and said, prey are always so quick on their feet, he smell their blood everywhere, Kaimayo and now human, Chu heart is barely keep him with, then he quickly jumped for his back, and grab him from behind and he thought, this is the last chance, then he give him super slam, then announcer said, incredible strength on this kid, then Nanaku is laying there, while Chu exhausted beside, Kevin said, yes, then sudden Nanaku said, does not nature show you, while holding Chu heart's hand he said, that prey are never the victors, Chu heart shocked and surprised, and then Nanaku slam his head on ground, the ground cracked by impact, the audience are surprised and silent to see that. His friends on despair and Rokash thinks, and what will you do Chu? Then Nanaku holding Chu's head up and said, are you satisfied? 
This is the product of your years of delusion, look at this, you make a mockery of his skill, let his blood be on your hand, he will kill every human arrogant enough to enter Kaimayo tournaments. And he punch him that throw him away, Chu Hart laying on ground motionless while Nanaku approaching there slowly and said, power cannot be faked, you either possess it or you don't, however, for those who do, the line between mediocre and immense power is drawn with the blood of those who disregarded the absolute gap, then Kevin screamed stop the fight, while that old man is smiling and said, watch your friend die, and then Nanaku said, do you hear that silence kid? He will use your corpse as a stepping stone, as he paint this floor with your blood, but rejoice, he will be merciful in granting you a swift death, while his friends is screaming for stop this fight, then Nanaku laughed and go toward Chu and said, he decided, your head shall be mounted upon his wall. While Rokash said, to think he was wondering you may be related to the legend s. Heart but you are merely disappointment cursed to carry his name, then Nanaku is approaching towards Chu Heart and he is kneel their own ground, the Nanaku open his mouth wide enough to devour him, that moment Chu Heart's eyes widen and thinks, is this where he died? While there slowly fire is bursting, and see a burning man slowly walking toward him, the man is Leo Thomas, his formal teacher and he said, he can't stop now, not yet, not ever. Then that fighting arena is engulfed in fire, barrier is containing the fire, everyone eyes and mouth opened by surprise to see that, Rokash also surprise, the announcer said, the barrier wall won't hold much longer, choose friends going to protect them, then Louise prepare his power to defend public, his power is range control then the fire just going to a lady, Azum quickly grab her and save her, while Kevin is holding two people to protect from fire, then Chu Hart's friends said, you. Guys seeing this, those flames are just like masters, and the flame is going on live fire tornado, meanwhile Nanaku is in pain and thinks about flames and said, you damn liar, you registered for this competition as human. You deceiver, you said you had no talent, you mocked him then and you mocked him now. He will devour you and rip your limb from limb then there is reflection on his eyes a burning man standing in front of him, he was too hard and gained a fire talent burning like phoenix, now, there is fear in those eye, sweat drops in frightened, Chu Hart think, he feel no pain, is he alive, what is this power, he feel reborn, while his friends were surprised to see, Nanaku thinks, impossible, he said, he tested your blood and it was human. This power that you now flaunt change nothing, then Nanaku laughed and run towards him and said, he is going to kill you slow boy, while that red bearded man shouting get out of there Nanaku. Run you idiot, then Chu Hart said, he wonder, when you burn, then a man said to Rokash to stop the fight. Your guest, they are not safe, those flames are similar to that war hero Leo Thomas, then Rokash cracked the chair handle, then Kevin said, don't kill him, Chu continue saying that will your flesh turn to ash? While Nanaku says, die, the Chu raise his hand and said, you first, then the flame is going toward Nanaku and engulf him in like tornado, and between flames, there is Nanaku is burning like hell. Then we saw Chu Hart standing there and Nanaku's burned body laying there dead, audience shocked and silent, his friends also surprised and tense, then we saw Chu Hart's burning hair slowly calming down, and fire extinguished, and he is normalized his form and then his friend runs toward him with cloth and give him and asked, bro your wounds. Are you alright? Chu said, he can stand, his body feels like it's ripped apart and then sewn back together, Kevin said, what the hell, man? Since when are we killers? While Chu was silent, then there is a big blast on a window, every camera on that side one cameraman said, isn't that Rokash's lounge? Then Kevin said, think that woke him up? They both standing in arena while announcer said, ladies and gents, please stay and calm. He think Rokash may have just had an accident, Chu silently watching there, then we saw Rokash on his lounge, he excitedly screaming and laughing, and shouting to Chu hard, he said Leo's best student, he excitedly said, wait, that old man gave you his talent? Every cameraman is on his face, 
Chu Hart said, he dare you to speak his name, Rokash said, he remember the both of you, the furious wolf cubs, at your master's side, he choose you, he fiercely laughing and said, Leo Thomas you are way too good, old man, in your death you still manage to create a successor? This weak human Chu, you bring Leo's talent into the world again? No matter, he will kill you as easy as he killed your master, then every cameraman is shocked to hear this and every audience is shocked and someone said, he murder him. War hero Leo. Rokash said, you've come to avenge Papa? You plan to win then do what? Bring him to justice? Ha! Huh? He's amused, then his man said, brilliant move, boss, you just confessed on live television, then three police officer arrived there, Inspector Ian said, this a joke Rokash. You hired us to secure this event, while you stand the culprit have been searching for. You murder Leo Thomas, then have us guard you. Rokash man said, we can't kill cops, they're still filming, then inspector said, Rokash Rampersad, you are under arrest, Hanor, step away from your boss now. Hanor come forth and said Rokash just stand behind him then from his hand sharp blades coming out, inspector warning him step away from there but he didn't listen, then Rokash trying to escape, the police point their gun on them and Hanor use his full talent devil parasite to block the bullet, then Chu Hart said, Rokash, camera turn. On Chu, he said, he would pray that the system finds you before we do, you cut short the life of the man who raised us, you made your life's final mistake, run Rokash if you slay a wolf, be sure to kill his cubs, too. While Rokash escaping he is still laughing like psychopath, Chu continue his word that for we will chase you to the grave, they all dojo mates standing in fighting arena with a determination on their face. Four month letter after Rokash tournament accident, he has been hiding all this time, constantly on the run from the authorities, he is in no place to negotiate with them, after his brilliant and elaborate outburst, the world knows the killer of one up its hero, people now live in fear of Kaimayos again. Then news is broadcasting, as the current Kaimayos ban in effect, the total ban of use of talent in public arenas has left many wondering, how far will this go? Is our past returning to hunt us? As a result, Kaimayo discrimination have also risen, local businesses also refusing to serve non-human customers, there is someone holding a large big red bag on his back and still hearing the news, head chancellor in a press conference stated, the fate of Kaimayos in this country is hanging by a thread and he is unsure what awaits them at the bottom then we saw a girl, scar on her face and listening that news and that big red bag is on his back and she is Andrea Thomas, Leo Thomas daughter. She said, she should find Chu, she thinks, another Kaimayo ban? Mankind tend to misuse peace, they haven't the slightest idea how maintain it, human fear is one hell of thing, they seem to have forgotten our past, the war is not as far back in our history as many like to think, then we saw history of wars, years ago, Kaimayo and human were at each other's throats, the Kaimayo population rose since the first birth in 1542, with newfound power Kaimayo's lust for domination grew. Why should humans rule and dictate the law of land? One third of population being Kaimayo, many desired not just to rule, but to wipe out the human race, creating a pure bloodline of evolution, human were forced to band together, all nation united against his common foe, they defended their lands and people throughout the carnage, while Kaimayo hunted and slaughter millions, however not all Kaimayos walks that path but those corrupted were led, influenced, and commanded by one man. Cain, the father of the entire rebellion, Cain's power polluted his mind, the world labels the top 150 most powerful talent user of the estimated 2.5 billion Kaimayos, within those ranks, the top 10 are referred to as, the god tier, Cain himself was number one. Through his influence, the war lasted 124 years, ending in 1957, Cain was seen as mankind's greatest enemy, in later years human developed a mean of incarnating persons which such powerful tenant but as powerful as he was, Cain was assassinated, by the hand of war heroes, the heroes that fought for mankind, the event that led to that fatal battle, 
are as follows, then Trinidad and Tobago, East Kawa, 1942, there are children standing in row, the lady officer said, so these are the kid. Volunteers. Told HQ this is a terrible idea but whatever, let's see, 12 kids. You all sign the form. She is Colonel Catherine Forbes. She said, she will be yours new commanding officer from the this day forward, she knows most if not all of you have lost your parents, that is why you joined this camp, we appreciate your offering yourself to the National Army, we will separate the training, with the state of world is in, we can use all help we can get against Kane, she continue, your new life begin today, gird up your minds, because with your help, we will begin restoring what once was, then we saw, that boy thinking that, our training begin the following day, we were treated well, fed, clothed, this place he still wonders why he even volunteered to come here, guess he just grew tired of searching, it feel safe here, he had seen enough death, then someone interrupt his thinks by calling him, he turned there and saw, one of a girl wave his hand say, hi, we see you by yourself all the time, she is Elsa and this is Kevin, you are so quiet, how old are you? Then that boy said, 8, Elsa said, Kevin here is still so young so she can't live his side, mom's last orders you know? Let's be friend everyone needs company. Then the boy blush and smile and agree with that, and thinks, she's so cute, then there is raining outside and war is broke out on for away, a soldier informed Colonel. Kane's forces. Colonel said, we were supposed to be secure. How the hell did they find us? When this is over, find me the rat. Then one soldier said, we inform the major immediately, he is already arrived, then colonel said, take me to him. Then we saw a man in a hat is standing there while smoking, he is Major Jamie Altham they called him, the wolf spider, colonel said, she don't know how they found us, Jamie, she's evacuating, Jamie said. He could have done without this drama today, Catherine, HQ is sending an airstrike, let's wait it out, then some soldier saving children's and one of soldier said, Major we retrieved the kids but three are still missing in the camp. Jamie is socked then he prepares to go, a soldier said, Major. The airstrike, he said, get behind the safe line, Colonel smile, and said, be sure to give them hell. Then there Jamie standing on a stone and many cane soldiers standing in front of him, one said, look boys, more men flesh. Then there is Kane's men they look dangerous beast, they are Kaimayo user, then one of them said, where are the rest of your May maggot friends hiding, and another said, speak, and perhaps we sphere your life, then Jamie take off his hat, then he open his fingers their red web appears, they're a web net made and all beast men binding and caught all of them in that web and said, stand aside, his talent is death web, then there are three children in a house, Elsa and Kevin crying while that hat, wearing boy said, we can't stay here, they'll find us, then that girl crying and said, will we be safe? The boy said, he won't let anything happen to either of you, after that a beast man turned that house and see that boy. Then they three run from there while many beast men chasing them, the boy still said, don't stop running, and there was a hideout, the girls asked, what about you? They will get us. Then that boy looked at them and said, he promised you had be safe, then the boy's hair start burning and Elsa is watching him surprise eyes, then that boy's is a Kaimayo user, his both hand burst into fire shouted now hurry. Then there Jamie is killing Kane's soldiers with his death web talent with his death, and beside on other side the boy is killing them with burn their head, Jamie death web is still rampaging and killing their group, while the boy is also killing more and more with throwing his fire on them, then Jamie noticed there is a big fire, he ran there and wonder what the hell happened here? Those smells are those burnt bodies. Hope those kids are okay, then he saw something with surprise eyes, then that boy think before today, he didn't know what my life purpose was, then that boy slowly blow out his hands fire, thinking this power not by chance and then there a burnt body laying on ground, Jamie asked, what is your name boy, he said, Leo Thomas, 
and burning sign on head and all round burned corpses, then in present, we saw Chu holding a photo of his teacher and his friends with him, then we again saw in the past, PRCO 1957, Trinidad, a soldier said, Serge, there's way too many, we are done. This is slaughter, we can't sit here any longer, then Serge smile and said, just wait, then soldier scream, on what, then we saw there are a plane, while soldier is surprised and Serge is happy, then that plane start firing bullets on rebellions, the muzzle is keep firing, Leo said, two cases left, sir. While Jamie said, damn it. Then on ground two beast man there, one of them preparing some kind of attack power and green beast man said, the human have air support. Shoot it down now, then in the plane Leo opened his safety belt and said, switching to active support mode. And he come out his cockpit while Jamie said, hurry up, private, the men this opening to retreat, and Leo agree, and he jump over the plane wings, he said, in position, sir, he is standing on plane, then that dangerous beast man is still preparing the attack and said, general, that aircraft is closing in, permission to fire. That green man said, too late, and then there is a big blast happened, and that was Leo, he did that from plane, soldier are talking about, is that the Major's apprentice? All Kane's beast men are burning on ground and Leo then take off his mask and safety helmet, Jamie asked, why would you take your mask off, Leo said, cause he look way cooler, then he asked, master, he think he can be more assistant if he is on the ground with our men. He is heading down, Jamie said, he'll kill you if you leave this plane, while Leo smiles and said, too late and he unlock his hook, and jumps from plane, with pressure of wind his mouth is open wide, he think probably should have kept the mask on, then three Kaimayo beast men panics to see that talking about shooting him, in a house Jamie interrogating someone, he threaten him badly, he is enemy general Iskorov, he feared and agreed to tell every things, Jamie said, congratulations on being the smartest kid in your class, then we saw Jamie tied many enemy on his head and said, your friend should have shared in your wisdom, and outside Leo is killing everyone on his way with his fire, hours later Jamie reports his mission to Colonel Catherine, they talk about Leo, how Jamie is guiding him like big brother then Colonel give him another mission that they located another Kane air base, she wants to those plane destroyed, she don't have a team so you will be alone, take Leo if you wish. Leo wants his own plane because of previous success mission, Jamie said, he do not trust you with a can opener, boy, a fighter plane? No, but pack your bags, we have a raid admission, if you don't run off this time, he might let you fly us home, then Leo happy and his eyes is bright shining, after sometimes Elsa meet Leo and cognate him to his mission and said, you better come back to me handsome, and Leo said, always babe. Then we saw air base controlled by Kane, there's plane approaching toward base and Jamie said, this is food storage and distributor center, limit combat as much as possible, we just need to destroy those planes beyond repair, the place will be swarmed by Kane's soldiers, then Jamie is hanging with the ceiling with his web and there is an enemy beneath him then Leo is killing one of them and said, look like we got them all, but that, doesn't look good, he said, master do you remember all, the missing person reports? He think we found them, there is a container, there are many people in it, Jamie said, that bastard Kane is taking hostages, we cannot take ignore this. Then they silently approach to a hide place, Jamie said, change of plan, the cargo plane are not just for rations, but to also move the civilian meat's shield. We do this quickly and quietly. Then there far three men walking, Leo said, who's that over there? Jamie shocked to see and sweat drops from his head, he said, devil, while Leo surprise face asked, master, what did you see? Jamie said, curse this man, what the hell are you doing here? You are supposed to be hiding overseas. We have been trying to locate you for years, of all the worst possible time, you choose to show up at a casual airbase. Then we saw the cane, the demon Kaimayo, 
there is blue light on his eyes and cheeks, his mouth is stitches, there is a burning head floating on his side and a big blue eye snake wrapping around him, then Leo is reporting that Colonel and Colonel sending the entire army, because it's a God-given opportunity, Jamie said, we cannot wait that long, at this rate this operation is moving, Kane will be gone in 30 minutes, we have one option, stall by challenging the number one, while smile proudly, and says, best way to die. Then we saw, there are many soldier around Kane then sudden Jamie's death web attach with dagger attack them all soldier hit by that but Kane's snake deflects his attack then Kane turn there and raise his hand toward, a fireball attack coming toward him, and stop that big fireball easily, Kane is stood there without any worry and Kane said, the army. Kane's voice sound like 1000 souls speaking simultaneously, while Jamie and Leo survive that blast, Leo said, do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Demon Kaimayo, Kane is 7 feet in height standing there with his big snake is wrapping him, they both like partner, then beside Kane, floating head said, two soldiers. Have you come to play the allegiance to us as you new master? Then Jamie said, just some reckless troop looking for excitement, follow my lead Leo. While they ready to fighting position, then Kane raised his hand and said, we were not through talking, and Jamie shouted to Leo dodge that attack while Leo said, yes sir, then there is a blast happened, Jamie back off speedily and Leo is jump above with his flame, then Kane said, futile, then their ground is cracking and Leo is shocked to see, the ground from his behind is uplift while surrounding him from behind, then he smash it and then his master says, move from there, but the ground, is still chasing him all around from there, and it's like water wave is try to engulf Leo in it, Leo trying to escape from there but can't, Leo said, how long can he keep this up? Ground chasing him many layers, all approaching towards Leo, while Leo is fly above then one of his leg is caught by ground, it slowly engulfing him into under, then the Jamie come with his death web and said, enough of this cane, and then snake is hissing, and Jamie's death web spread through that ground, there is Leo's hand up then Jamie cut all those grounds layers and Leo free from that capture and from there and come towards Kane, then Jamie said, do you know how his talent work Leo? He throw his death web knife and said, this is then Eidos, it's not joke, legend says it take three talents of equals to subdue so Leo, your new mission is to survive, Leo said, yes sir, while he preparing his fire attack and throw his attack to Kane, then sudden snake coming from that fire attack and try to bite the Leo, but he dodge it barely then Jamie runs toward him and said, do not let the snake bite you, it's part of his talent, once he grab you, he is activated, Sybaris the Great. Serpent absorb the person's soul for his master, while Jamie and Leo attack both side, Kane said, you have done your research, however, you both should have stayed in your mother's womb, while they all glare each other, while Leo smiling said, you should fire the guy who sewed your mouth shut, it's a poorly done job, then there is Colonel Catherine with his big axe and battle uniform, she said, she want us at that air base yesterday, then Elsa asked, how many tanks do we take? Colonel said, we carry every damn thing, Private Elsa. Here they both fight with Kane and Kane also dealing their attack easily, Leo attack his fire kick, Kane dodges it, then Kane grab Jamie's face and he throw them both from his power, they thrown away and land on the ground roughly, Jamie said, army almost here, stay alive boy, and he said, yes sir, while on ground, then Leo saw civilian cage he said, he can't use Ilios here, then floating head asked, are your loved ones alive? Then Jamie put his hand on ground and said, we are not interested in yours threats then he preparing his death web his ground hand while floating head said, if you follow us, we will pardon your sins and spare the lives of those you love, then he put his both hand and preparing web attack and crashing the ground and binding Kane with his death web prison, and Jamie said, now it's your time Leo, then Leo is preparing a dagger embedded with fire and he transform into Ilio's mode then that, Dagger transform into a big fire sword and then he approached towards captured Kane, then Kane closed his eyes and said, what a shame, then Leo said, you monster fight me, then the Kane said, 
Very well then, after that Jamie screamed Leo to fall back, the big snake breaking that death web and try to devour Leo and said, give us your soul, then Jamie soon binding the Leo and pull back from there, Kane said, you dare try to touch us? Then he raised his hand on civilian's cage and said, their blood shall be on your hands. Then Leo saw this and he ran there, Leo is running said, hang on, then he stand in front of cage, cross his hand in attack blocking position then Jamie bind him around his web and pull back from there and said, stupid boy, Leo screaming, wait, master no, then Kane raised his hand and said, meaningless sacrifice, while Jamie said, he did not adopt you for you to die here, and then death web prepared all around and said, the greatest were the time he stood beside you as your brother, and then, he stand in front of that container, spreading his death web all around toward coming attack and there are many people stand behind cage and he said, your purpose in this life is higher than his, Leo, your talent will save us, it was an honor to be your guide, while tear in his eye he thank him, then Colonel Catherine advancing his soldiers while he is holding a tank's gun on her soldier and other hand her axe. He screaming all the man that two of our men's lives are on the lines, we have waited for this moment, defeat Kane and save our own. One soldier said, on the hill, their Kane's army is in front of them, then we saw the civilian cage is safe but all around his wall and ground are cracked and crumbled, Leo is sitting there hopeless, while Jamie's half upper portion is on the wall and half lower is beside him, he died a heroic and tragic death, then Kane said, so brittle, the body of a laser Kaimayo, then Leo burst into scream while his one eyes crying and other eye bursting into fire, Kane said, oh, you choose to continue, then there is a Leo's fire tornado bursting going on while Kane said, do you know whose flame you carry, boy, the power you hold, our talents share a common history, then Leo breathed out fire and said, then Eidos, and Leo transform into a fire god and Kane said, that's right, you wield the sibling talent to ours, brother Ilios, and their Colonel Catherine fiercely fighting with Kane's army and desperately try to reach there as soon as possible. Kane continue his story that, many years ago, before the world knew about Kaimayo, before the first recorded non-human birth, there was a family of four brothers born in a Greece who possessed a talent, they were known as the first Kaimayos, then Leo is running towards Cain, then he shield around himself while Leo punching there, all over surround their fire, while Cain continue his story, the first man, these souls carried the first talents to walk the earth, the locals do not know what to do, in the face of such power, so they did what man does best, they worshipped them as gods, we both carry one of the great four talents, the talents that is started it all, join us Ilios, stand not in our way as in time past, they shall exalt our true power child childhood still not in our village in time past while Leo is trying to his best to fight with him while shield is still protecting Kane, Kane further said, refuse and you shall taste true fear, then Leo said, what you have done with your gift angers him beyond comprehension, your existence hurt the earth, he was given order to survive, and you choose to kill the man who gave him those order, then Leo is start burning in blue flame and a big blue flaming wing spread through his back, he said, and how strong you made him. Then Kane said, to oppose, is a fool choice, Leo thinks, the then Edo's talent, he can't win, then he fly towards him and still thinking that, he can give his life, for the sake of others. Kane said, your death will leave you no honor. And prepare his shield and said, our mind is as a god's. Then the protecting shield is start breaking and Leo punching that shield with his bluish fire hand. The shield is cracked, Kane is surprised and panics, herder Sybaris to devour his soul. Then Leo said, master, he hope you are proud of who he have become. Then he put his hand on Sybaris's mouth and then Sybaris is biting him while Kane is laughing and said, your final mistake. Ilios, then he sudden felt something off he said, wait, a trick. He knew we would drop our shield in order to grab him, then Leo prepare an attack with another hand, Leo hit him with his blue fire on his stomach, Kane scream in pain and discharge his power, Leo is thrown away on ground, he laying on the ground while from the cage people is calling help, 
then there from Cain's body many souls are escaping while Cain try to hold it but he can't hold it, Leo said, now's his chance. Help civilian, and he'll have to push the cage, then he exhaust fire with leg and pushing with them then the cage is falling from above, and here from Cain's body soul are still escaping while floating head said, our souls. Cain asked, general. How much longer? Then general shouted the aircraft is ready, we must go now, my Fuhrer. Now Catherine is ordering his mans that our primary objective is civilian safety then we find Cain, then there Leo is on the ground, Cain somehow managed to evade capture, he ran from there in plane, Colonel said, the immediate evacuation of all the hostages, then Colonel is crying while holding Jamie's corpse in his arms, she thinks, she should have died that day, one month later, the general hospital, a soldier knocking the door, and one soldier said, Major Leo Thomas while Leo is on the bed, he said, yes, Kane was dead, he is succumbed to his injuries, as expected, Master and he were labeled war heroes, he accepted Master Medal on his behave, people treat him like some kind of savior, he hate the damn fame, why wouldn't he, it reminds him the day he could not save the one who saved him. Then we saw, Battle of Waterloo 1815, in the field there are two side one side blue uniform Napoleon's French army and other side red uniform English army, then there is French general ordering his men to fire and said, today we shall seize control over Waterloo. On other side soldiers said, Colonel Blucher, French just got reinforcement, they already pushed us to the trenches, do we retreat? Sir, then Colonel said, you must send for the reaper, we can't win this as is. Unlike today one third of the population, Kaimayos were rare for centuries, many wars were won not by mortal men but by Kaimayos, then a soldier running from urgency, a messenger then that man shouted, Sir, Napoleon has sent an immense amount of enforcements, Colonel request, we need the reaper, then that man put off his hat and said, he hoped he would not force my hand by making him send you, reaper, there is a man sitting there, he said, he is a soldier, he desire no special treatment, he here. To serve his countries, that man the reaper has many cuts in on his chest and there is a purple light emitting from there, then the master said, you better return here at one piece my boy, that's an order, your country still need you, then reaper riding horse and running toward French army them while there is a determination is on face, then colonel, and said to his men all right, head down now all of you get in the trenches. This is end to Napoleon forces. If you want to live, head down now, then French army stand there while a horseman is coming there, they thin, a lone soldier? Then there is two gun firing that hit the reaper's horse and he jumped over and landed on the ground, then he saw them angrily and preparing, there is a purple light all around, then there is a mark on his beside abdominal, he raise his hand and there is a whip release from there and that goes bigger and bigger and long and there is a giant axe on whip last ending and he grab the whip and scream loudly and he spin that whip with axe in circle around half a kilometer and in another hand. Also has an axe like weapon, then he again raise his weapon and countless soldier is on in mid air and some soldier still holding his head lower, reaper ripping his enemies with his whip, he jump over mid air and smashing them into half. All soldiers are panic and firing everyone, while one by one is going to death then one soldier trying to load his gun, he appeared in front him, reaper still on rampage all round and killing all of them while all the soldiers call back, they have a demon, then there is general, who seeing all the standing there in freezing position and then all around soldier is running. The efforts of man cannot erase the work of the great Kaimayos of old, who fought alongside mankind, Kaimayos may have been rare then but many paid for the peace we enjoy today with their lives, then reaper standing on their both hands has weapon holding. In the modern time the world has grown to embrace them, living together required active effort from all governments, besides, what else would life without them? Their gifts to help society, they add beauty and colors to this world, protect the brother walking beside you, doctor is surprised to see Leo's report and he said, this is incredible all your wounds is gone and heal, there is Leo standing and doctor smile and said, he have never seen healing to such extent, 
Now doctor said the result of successful talent transfer, a week later, Chen Guanas flyover, there were many cars running as usual then a blast happened, there was two Kaimayo user the Samal. Brothers, they said, fixed your eyes on our hulking manly bodies, today we bring death and judgment. They destroy all your pipeline, your road on construction, police cars reached there, Inspector Ian said, take them down, and they firing bullet but nothing happened to them as they one of steel body and one is solid rock, then steel body Kaimayo throw a car on police officers that blast their many police injured, then someone running toward them he is above while two brothers still talking the police, that man jumps over then below there is another man who is running, while they smashing police. Cars and going to beat the police man sudden a half mini truck hits stone brother and when steel brother turn he hits by fire, they both trembling on ground, then there is two man standing there and one of rhino hide and one is fire man, then two brothers who said, you think we were not prepared for you too, not this time, we shall merge and become ultra samalsing. Then they both merge and there is four arms with two rock and two with steel, and half steel body and half rock body, then they both prepare to fight. Then one of police officer asked, sir, what do we do? Then inspector answer clear the bridge and give them space, this is no longer our fight, then fireman jumps above jumps over and hit them with fur, while rhino is preparing his punch, then they said, friend of the government, enemy of the people, then they block the rhino's punch with a punch while ground is crumbling with shockwave, then again a fireball hit them then they said, come on, enough, flame boy, then they notice rhino is not there then he appear on his head and he said, right here, then he grab their neck, he said, it's time now chew, then fire all around him, preparing something, fire bubble appeared his hand and he mold them in a fire spear then two brother feared and said, wait, we were joking, come on man, we can still talk about this, right? Then Chu had ready to throw his fire spear and he throw him on them, that fire javelin is coming very fast while hitting him on the chest, he was scream and there is a kaboom, and then threat neutralize and police officer binding them into a device, then inspector Ian thanks them, and said, he owe you one, then one of officers said, inspector sorry to interrupt you but he didn't be supposed to arrest all Kaimayo's use, inspector said, what are you talking about, we already arrested all the Kaimayo's, seen here, then they both were laughing and Chu said, take care of your men, inspector, and they said, goodbye. Then we saw guest mansion of Hemlock, they come here and said, we are back another crazy day, thanks again for letting us stay here, Uncle Hamlock, then Uncle smile and said, don't mention it, welcome home, then Chu asked about Rokash, that Louise said, Azam is working on it, he'll update us when he finds something, then Louise asked about regulator which Chu is wearing it, he said, it working well, Ilios is under control for now, then Andrea said, you two were all over the news, as usual, your javelin was sloppy asshood, Chu yelling her and said, that javelin Andrea was a work of art, then Andrea laughing loudly and said, it was so weak, imagine if it believe up in your face, she crying, while Chu and said, but it didn't, Chu coming from the house then Andrea there said, the hamlock mansion the only Japanese style architecture in the city, this place should be a tourist attraction, she said well since there is a Kaimayo ban and we are literally had in here. He think guest would be a bad idea, Andrea said, you are going there again today, she will be happy to see you, later that evening waste coast orphanage, Chu is going there, he go to reception and then there was a lady, she recognize him and said, Chu, he said, Miss Farmer, you can't say my name now, the whole arrest Kaimayos remember? Then Miss Farman said, or oh dear, it's been six months, she has asked for you almost every day, since your last visit, she think, she will be passed out when see you, then he is in front of a door said, it's me, then door open, he said, he know he should have called, then a girl jump over him and hugging him very tightly and said, brother, he is here now, love, then he is on that little girl's room and he is holding a notebook, Chu said, he knew you were smarter than me, but this grades are amazing, 
then that girl binding his ear and said, those classes are too slow, she's the head of the class, Chu making fun face and said, is that overconfidence he hear you young lady? So if you come first place in exam what is he commanded to grant you this time? She smirk and said, take her to see Uncle Kevin and the others, he said, deal, anything for you, Yukiko, while she is red face and folding her hands said, she know you your fighting money pays for me to stay here, but he hate seeing your scars, stupid, he said, he hope you forgive me soon enough, he gotta go now, remember to brush your teeth, they hugging happily while she said, okay. Then there is a beautiful day, mansion of Hamlock, Andrea come along there and said, okay, listen up boys, today's the day you have been waiting for, it's show and tell, impress me with your progress, demonstrate what you have learned, she have shown you your weaknesses, and overcoming them in your only way forward, if you manage to move me, she will tell you what her talent is and what is in this bag, then she smile and said, and trust me she's not that easy to impress, after all, she's the granddaughter of Leo Thomas, all five boys are standing there while listening, show me you are no average Kaimayos, then she said, Kevin, grace us with that new upgraded rhino hide, his friends said, you got this stone man, then he transformed into rhino hide, Andrea said, she never knew one could upgrade a hide talent, what other hide can you forge? Kevin said, he have three hides, rhino, lion, blacksmith, rhino is limitless and difficult hide, then lion hide is all power but little, it uses stamina as fuel so my max activation is currently 20 second, blacksmith is a combination of hide that use my blood as fuel last time he tried his heart stopped, then he show you why he's the tank of the team, then there is a wind blowing around, he transformed into lion hide with eyes glowing and he is behind bigger aura, Andrea thinks it's incredible, then suddenly there is a wind blowing from behind and his hide form gone, she said, did just he fart? Then it's Chu and he prepare a javelin, she said, stone dummy, the track go below your feet whatever you do stand your ground, then he prepare mask and then, he hit one of the dummy and cut it into half, while Andrea thinks, you were able to use close combat by wielding your javelin in a Naginata style, the successor of Ilios, you have progress so well, and she smiling while Chu is prepare his attack to add bull's eye and throw him and set go, that javelin going very fast and hit the bull's eyes, then she said, sloppy but not bad, Mr. Hart, now it was some time show her what you've got, 15 target 3 second is ready, and then go sign with that he vanished and she think, youngest but smartest, you added a blunt weapon to your tactical armament Azum, with a haste type talent, you can now make devastating impact with less effort, brilliant, then we saw Azum is kicking the props and hitting with his weapons while smiling, then it's time for Louise, Kevin said, the contents of the bag is our sole mission, while Chu said, liberate us, Louise, then Andrea said, hey boys, play your cards right, and she will open it all for you, then all boys nose bleed, Andrea said, the hamlocks are pretty famous, Louise, she heard from grandpa that your family talent is the most creative, then we saw Louise starting his talent, they're all over ashes and it spread through then Andrea said, but what, can ash really do, all surprised to see something is above there, then Louise ashes flying all there, his eyes is black, he is above mid air, he said, Ash Hydra. Talent control and manipulate a mass of ash, then their three headed Hydra created by ashes and Louise mounted one of them heads, then slowly he landed while Hydra are slowly vanished, Andrea said, wipe that stupid grin of your face, not bad, she's not going to lie that freaked her out for a sec, you boys aren't as incompetent as she thought, your brain actually possess the capacity to learn but you are definitely gonna need to top that, Anton, otherwise there will be no talent reveal, and you will have to keep guessing what's in the bag. Anton said, no pressure right? That settle it, you are an evil Leo, Andrea said, now tell me, what can you do Mr. Anton, Chu said, you might want to step back Andrea, Anton's talent has two part, you know the passive part, 
where he create unbreakable rod but Anton actually has a ship talent, which has its own talent. The rods, the ship talent that control the rods is what you will be witnessing today, he can use his ship talent without its permission, but he avoid shifting because it's a bit untamed, then Anton put his finger in nose and said, beast shift, Kong 30%, his fiends thinks, 30% we should be fine, right? Then there is Anton sitting there with his tail and he is half monkey face and he said, you call the mighty Kong? After that Andrea said, wolf cubs of Leo Thomas, accepting her as your teacher means you are prepared for my high standard of elegance, she is impressed but only barely cause Rokash won't be an easy opponent, he's 97 in the world's top 150, if you want to stand a chance, you will need to be much is stronger than this, for failing to measure up my to her standards, there will be no bag opening and no talent reveal. Then she lift her bag on his back and said, training will resume in the morning. While all the boys shouting, that night, overlooking the hamlock mansion, someone talking that, they appear to have had an ability showcase today, slay the master yet his offspring still carry his banner, then behind that phone man said, master the longer we wait, then that man said, we are not ready, let her groom them Kaguya, their time will soon come, and we will there to be the reclaim what was taken from us, then a beautiful day there is someone sneezing and in the ground there is a big blast happened and a wind blows coming from the that blast, that hit the wall and that was half pieces of a robot and he smiling, then from that wind someone said, this wasn't part of the plan guys. And that robot shouting, Eva, a flying half robot half human and DOM, who is some kind of robot too, Eva said, she didn't sign up for this ridiculousness Clade, he's bloody sadistic, then Rokash is appearing from dust while smiling. Eva said, and why the hell is he butt naked, put some clothes on, you perv with the glass eyes, then Rokash said, you actually survived, are those robots parts? Of my, he's enjoying this, he have been cooped up in this hideout for so long he almost forget what this felt like, forgive him he haven't let his animalistic him nature loose in month, he continue said, he have so many questions for you three, like what were you thinking, entering a pit bull's home? Beyond that, this junkyard has been abandoned for years, so you didn't find me through luck, a man like me as your target means you were sent, he hope they warned you of his talent, allow me to introduce you to and then he activate his talent Anu Ank. Far from there two men watching all this fight from behind, then mask man said, we should have sent a larger number of titans master, then master said, no, Kagaya, he have no expectation for them to emerge victorious, this is simply a field test to determine the strength of our taste subjects, who better than the Egyptian Kaimayo himself. Then we saw that Lady Eva turn his hand into two sword and screamed, you arrogant clown, she will carve that grin off your face, and she flight towards him while roaring sound, Rokash smiling said, a banshee talent, then he launch a slash attack that cuts Eva's one hand along with her one wing, then he grab another wing and Rokash said, yet you're nothing more than oversized pigeon. Then he pulled down on ground and said, and you are in my home uninvited. Then Eva crying with fear and said, please wait, while Rokash smiled psychopathically and said, no mercy in beneath him, then he crushed Eva's head with his leg and he is smile widely and says, so you do bleed, then D.O.M. angrily said, you bastard, run toward Rokash and swing his hammer, which he easily dodged it by jumping above, then D.O.M. vibrate speedily and said, you will not escape that easily, while Rokash in mid-air he felt something, he shocked, D.O.M. activated his forced magnetic attraction and while Rokash is forced to ground, then D.O.M. swing his hammer and said, die, while Rokash dodging it, he landed on ground for a second and again jump over while D.O.M. is swing his hammer, horizontally, then they both face to face Rokash said, while in mid air, what a shame for a bounty hunter to die this quickly, thin head, D.O.M. sudden gunfire and said, you narcissistic prick, Rokash dodging that bullet and said, this prick have already killed you, haha. Ha. Then Dom's both hands cut down by slash attach of Rokash, then Rokash used his Anu Ank impulse talent. 
In his hand a sign appeared and he hit him with that on Dom's stomach and that Sai Anu Ank attacks come from his back, blood spilled everywhere, Rokash think, as he suspected, you are neither 100% Kaimaya or 100% cybernetic material, then Hanor and his nephew come there and said, yo, we are here, boss, but not like you needed our help, why are you naked, then Rokash said, what? He was in shower when they showed up. Then his nephew said, assassin. And Hanor said, you picked the wrong crew, man, while seeing one of assassin, Rokash said, do you have any idea how hard it was to find a secure location like this where we could hide? You messed with a man's living, tin head, you will tell me how you locate us, perfectly while you still have a tongue, while his nephew said, you need pants, then the man smiled and said, Rokash, this is a far greater reward than any paycheck, he will go down in history as the one who killed the great Egyptian Kaimayo. Then he raised his hand and there is a powerful blast coming to them and there is a big blast happened and all over the black smoke coming from there, that two men standing. Watching this place, the boss said, what a waste of part, no matter, all titans are replaceable, you will proceed to test that group of boys next, Kaguya, careful they are led by the Sunfire's kin, Kaguya said, yes, my lord, then we saw smoke slowly dissipated, there's a round sphere, that is Hanor talent. He opened slowly the sphere and said, lucky bastard died thinking he won, then nephew picking an object and said, hey guys, did you look at any of these part? This tech is on another level, that guy did was use a photon blast, this technology should not exist, Rokash said, what's your point Cass? Nephew said, point is that, some very rich bastard paid for those three cybernetic enhancements, you have a foe with technology that the world doesn't know exist yet, Rokash said, I am awesome, his bets Putin, anyway, get me some shorts and let's get a move on, this location is compromised, later that night, Hamlock Mansion, everyone watching breaking news that, a large scale terror attack was launched on our nation today, they targeted infrastructure, roadway, and government buildings and also launched on several major public areas, civilian are advised to stay in their home, the reporter reported to have cybernetic enhancements in their bodies, we awaits further for the details on this, report are referring to them as an organized crime syndicate, many are calling this the worst terror attacks since the war, 38 have been reported dead and over 200 injured, both human and Kaimayo, I am lost for words, I am sorry, we as a nation have witnessed today. While in the room Andrea is crying and Anton and Azum also crying while Chu is listening all these with angry face, Azum said, what goal can possibly justify such an act? Andrea said, this is beyond the military, we have to help, Kevin said, but keep it low, Kaimayo ban is still in effect, Andrea said, we shouldn't go out all, Anton, Chu, Louise, remember Inspector Ian? Check in with him tomorrow see what help we can offer, Chu said, the things that killed those people, Azam said, report is saying basically the exact same thing, augmented limbs, mechanical weaponry, and believe it or not, talents, whatever they are, they're Kaimayo, it's Kaimayo cyborgs, Chu was angrily said that's enough for him, he don't need know what he's killing, Kevin was surprised and next second he sharp his gaze for unknown future. The following days Republic Bank, there was security officer who greeting Ms. Ree, she goes to counter and said, she like to make a deposit. Then there was a big blast happened in her background and she turns there, a Kaimayo cyborg's lady with her six spider robotic arm, a horn on her head smiling standing there, killed security and she said, she smell Kaimayo blood. She liked to make a withdrawal, then Ms. Ree said, to her next lady, miss lock yourself in the vaults. Then Cyborg attack his spider arm that hit him re on her shoulder, she is kneel down on ground while Cyborg lady said, you are s rank Harari, then from Re's hand, a oat pointed long bone appeared, she cuts the Cyborg spider arm and said, excellent, police officer help me hold off her then, she's ready to fight, while Cyborg lady with smiling face said, she bet she is stronger than you, s rank, 
Banshee attack from two spider arm which MS redeflects one spider arm and another she throw three bone structure on her, cyborg lady grab one of bone and said, she see your moves before you make them, Kaimayo, then they both jump on each other with their Kaimayo weapon, to kill each other. Then after some time we saw there was a traces of a fierce battle, corpses laying on ground, bone structure are everywhere, ground and walls are cracked, then two police officer coming in from door, Inspector Ian asked, How many dead? Brandon. Then Brandon said, 13 civilians and 8 of ours, it took everything we had to put her down, if it weren't for Farah, we'd have a massacre on our hands, he have never seen anything like it, sir, there's Farah's body, Inspector Ian was surprised to hear Farah's name and says, we lost an S rank Kaimayos. She was a major asset to the police service, when Kaimayos get out of hand, we call her, then three boys arrived there, Chu said, how can we help? Inspector Ian said, just the people he wanted to see, always happy to see you boys, then point this way and says, you might wanna take a look at this, it killed Farah, Chu surprised and said, no way, Inspector said, her sacrifice was the only reason we were able to detain it, then Chu said, high profile S rank Kaimayo, she used her fame to protect both Kaimayo and human, now she's gone too, Inspector Ian said, he promise he will avenge her, but first, can any of you tell me, what in God's name is this things? Then we saw that cyborg lady is pinned down on wall, all around their bone structure and she is heavily injured, pierced with miss. Rebone structure, she still smiling maniacally, she keep repeating Fara name and said, shut up already, then on Hamlock Mansion, we saw Kevin is playing with children while Andrea said, now that's adorable. The she asked, how long have you been running a daycare here, Mr. Hemlock? Uncle said, two years, after yesterday's terror attack, their parents would be called in to deliver aid, he made some calls and promised to watch their children for them, Andrea with smile said, even in chaos, children have the right to be children, beside, Kevin looks like he is having fun. Inspector Ian said, it's as if she's afraid of nothing, she knows he'll kill her, yet she won't bargain, then Louise asked, 25 officers with rifle plus an experience S rank talent, why are you still breathing? She smiling said, she'll tell you blue eyes, her main talent is foresight, it allows her to see both the immediate and distant future of whoever she make eye contact with, she can see your move before you make them, then Anton and Chu surprised to hear, main talent, then Louise said, oh yeah? Then you have already seen what he will do you if you don't talk. She smile mockingly and put out her tongue and says, she will play with you if you play with her, she have seen you die, blue eyes, pretty painful, would you like to know how and when? She fears no one, not even you three, it's foolish of you to help the humans, you put mask to hiding and fear of arrest, right? Then Chu said what? He's not into arachnids, lady, then that lady use his eye to foresight, her eyes open wide with fear and she thinks, crap, foresight activated itself? Why now? This one was unintentional. The place all around her is burning, she thinks, where is she? This heat is she in hell? Fear on her face, she thinks, whose future is this? Why is she seeing it? She is in panic and still thinking that last person he made eye contact with was that blonde kid, then she seen someone standing there, she asked, you over there, who are you? Then that man turned slowly and she said, what is this, what did you do? She screams in fear and panic that she's talking to you. What have you done? Then that man turns fully and we saw, he is our hero Chu, he turned his gaze to her, and she said with fear in her voice that, you killed us all, she screaming help her when she out of foresight, Inspector Ian said, now she won't talk at all, Louise said, all she does is bloody scream, Inspector Brandon said, she only screams when you get near her, Mr. Hart, then Louise said, how can a Kaimayo carry more than one talent? How many does she even have? Then Mr. Anton says, 
he know someone we can ask, then from Anton boy something come out, this is a little red monkey that called Kong, he is in rage, he's biting, and shouting on Anton that he told him never to summon him, he's jumping all over his body and biting, Mr. Anton said, quite being a baby, Kong, they have a question for you, then Kong said, he know, he hear everything, of course you need my help, you people are too dull to notice, a forced talent transfer when you see one. She has a total of three talent but she was only born with one, Louise and Chu were surprised to hear this, while Inspector Ian said, talent transfer is a death sentence, if she possesses extra talents, that mean there are two dead Kaimayos to find, let him run this by his team, if your friend is right, the other cyborgs may be multi-talented as well. Then that little Kong says, he's always right, mustache. Then in Hemlock Mansion, a little girl's balloon slipped through her hand and someone grabbed it then a giant man in hood and beside him Kaguya that grabbed the balloon said, here you are, darling, then Mr. Hemlock said, hello, to that Kaguya greeted him and said, my good sir, we are the enemy. His name is, and then someone interrupted and said, that size. He is a cyborg, isn't he? How did you find this place? Then Kaguya said, you ruined his intro, his name is Kaguya and he's not cyborg but this big boy is. Then Uncle Hemlock pulled out his sword, he shouted and said, you two are not welcome here. Remove yourself from my land this instant. Then he faced that big cyborg, cyborg eyes turn red and uncle seeing him with sweat drip on his face, then everyone there noticed them, Kaguya said, let's try that again, good morning everyone. Kaguya reporting for duty. Beside him is Grim Dora the Vile. Nice to meet you. Then Kevin says to children to run to the back room then he notice something, there are three missile fired by Grinder towards him, Andrea shouted to Kevin, look out, but it's too late missile hit them and big blast happened there while Azum and Andrea seeing all this in front of them, then we saw Kevin transform into Lionhide. He thinks, thanks God, if he used Rhino to defend, the blast would kill the kids, and Lion is fast enough to cut the rocket town before they get too close. Andrea said, he did it, now Azum, it's you and me against that thing, but she'll need you to do me a fever, when there's an opening, she will need you to run to my room, Azum asks, for what boss? She said, my red bag then Kaguya said, shall we begin? Then Kaguya sit on a wall and said, you gotta this groomy, show them what Titan can really do, then Grimdora pull out his robes and throw that, General Grimdora with fully weaponized hand and metal body, then Andrea jumps over Grimdora and prepare her kick and hit him but Grimdora raise his weaponized hand to block her attack, Andrea in rage seeing this while Grimdora said, very strong, now we see Inspector Ian in the surveillance truck with his team said, show him what you got, then, they said, those cyber things referring to themselves as Titan, it appears every attack happen in exactly 7 minute intervals, Inspector asked, how many have we captured? Did any of them talk, or are we still in the dark, then a man said, none, sir, they strategically attack locations so far apart, that we were forced to stretch resources in order to assist each other, then a lady said, Inspector Ian, the bank witness statements are in, let's hearing them, lady open a page and said. They all seem to say the same story, this was no robbery, the female titan bypassed everyone and went straight to misery, everyone who died today was mere a casualty, then Chu said, he also just spoke to some employees, the bank was in emptied yesterday, they were only one for deposit, new funds were expected to arrive today, Louise said, why target an empty bank? Unless you value something other than money, Harari was their target, then we saw Hamlock Mansion Azum is running fast toward Grimdora and he run in front of him and jump over him and try to hit him, but Grimdora dodges it, while Andrea prepare his punch and hit him which Grimdora block his punch with his arm and said, very strong, then Andrea said, what is this guys? Then Grimdora prepared his mechanical arm attack, then from arm there is a mechanical iron whip coming out from it, he attacked, 
the ground is crumbled into pieces Azum and Andrea they both seeing this with shocked, then Andrea attacked by his iron whip which she dodged it and kicked the iron whip and said to Azum that she really need that bag right now. She still dodging iron whip that hit the ground while Azum is on his way to bag, then Inspector Ian said, he known her personally for many years, why would anyone want her dead? Mr. Anton said, why risk your life to go after a random S rank, Louise said, pay with your life and get nothing for it, makes no sense, then a lady call Inspector Ian that, another multi-talented titan surfaced and killed a high profile Kaimayo, then choose eye wide open with surprise, he realized something and he start to run and said, it was their plan to split us, while Inspector Ian asked, what are you talking about boys? Then Chu said, the titans are hunting Kaimayos, then we saw Azum is in room and said, ok let's see, never been a girl room before, then he saw a red bag and said, found it, let go you out of here bag sen, then the bag is falling down, he was totally shocked to see that floor is crumble and broke with falling this bag, he thinks, this thing weighs about 200 pound, how does she expect me to carry this? Then outside an iron whip attack coming toward Andrea, she punched it that whip then she saw with shocked eye that, he again prepared to firing rocket and fire two rocket toward Kevin and children, Kevin cuts that two rocket into piece, a big blast occurred there and from the smoke he said, we are okay, hanging there little longer, he can't hold this hide much longer, Andrea, while she fighting with Grimdora and said, she's your opponent, then Grimdora said, okay, Andrea soon back off from there, he slowly start open his mouth while Andrea watching with shocked and surprise, Grimdora open his mouth and prepare a red glowing fire attack and then he fire big attack from his mouth like laser, he attack on Andrea, surrounding ground are broke into pieces and burning all along, Grimdora said, he's stronger, then Andrea on ground laying there, Kevin said, get up girl. Andrea saw Azum and said, just a little longer kid, Azum said, sorry he's late. Then he prepared to transforming and his hair is burning green light, in his eyes there is a pattern appearing, he is in his Kirin hide mode, then he throw red bag outside with head hit, Andrea smiled, and said, she knew you had find a way as red bag coming towards her, then Andrea blocked the bag with his leg while Grimdora said, why you smile, handbag no win fight for you, Andrea smile mockingly and said, she smile Grimdora, because you are my prey, and there is nothing better than the thrill of the hunt, Kaguya said, a red sealed bag. It's her, you neglected to mention, master, that this woman is, a legend herself, then she hold the rope and start to pulling and said, Grimdora, she hope you are ready for the fight you picked, Grimdora said, he fear nothing, and she pulled the rope to uncover and said, well you should, cause she is ranked number 147 and then seal release, after listening that Kevin and Azum shocked and said, what number? She is in the top 150 while Grimdora also panic little and silently watching her, then we saw there is a battle all around that place, everyone on their position, Andrea said, she hate the attention my rank bring, so she avoid mentioning it, and then she says, she open you Pandora's chest. Kagaya thinks, the black hole chest, never thought he have see the day, now, Andrea Thomas, how did you come to possess one of the most valued object in the world, then Azum watching all this while Andrea raised her hand and said, come, while Kevin also said, wait, hold up, aren't we not supposed to open Pandora's box, she calls Sengo Muramasa then there is a sword coming from chest in his hand, her talent is weapon master, the ability to instantly master all combat technique associated with any martial weapon she come into contact with. Kagaya said, a talent object, and you filled it with weapon, an endless supply of tools for any hand to hand combat situation, and it looks like some of them are talent weapon, then there from sword a reddish smoke come out around her hand and make very like a shield. It's the talent of sword, after that Grimdora scream unacceptable, while she said, calm down, Grimdora said, who are you, to tell him calm down. Andrea smirks and said, she said calm down and he she opened that sword out, 
Grimdora said enough and then he attack with iron whip towards her very fast, and there is slash sound and then Andreas cuts and destroy that iron whip into many pieces like iron garbage, now in Grimdora's baby eye open with surprise, and she said, come, you beast, and prepare his sword while Grimdora prepare his rocket launcher and scream to die, while Andrea is so focused and watching him with slight smile on her face, and then two rocket coming towards her, she prepare his sword, and cut that rockets into half and said, the bigger the prey, the more excitement in the hunt while cutting second rocket, Grimdora attacked her with whip, she defend that attack and said, you don't walk into a den of wolves and escaped unharmed. Then she slashed and cut his one of arm, he screamed then she slashed his belly, she thinks, no blood yet, then she slashed through many places, Grimdora attacked her, she avoid and jumps over and from above she said, you don't, shoot at kids, while she insert his sword into his chest, Grimdora said, don't lecture me while his whip were attacking her, she jumps backward and landed on ground and his sword and shield gone, Grimdora said, Grim no die, not this easy. Grim no eat in days, she keep watching him and listening him, he said, Grim breakfast by eating you and kids. Then Andrea smirks and said, eat us all, will you? Then she again raises his hand and called, Elliot. Then from Pandora's chest there is a dagger coming in his hand, the dagger also emitting smoke around his arm, and then s feathers like armor formed her hand and she said, come try us, Grimdora screaming and again attack her with his whip, Andrea one eyes colors changed into black and said, let's see how much of you is really mechanical. Then Iron Whip attack coming towards her, she suddenly vanished from there, she moving very fast, she appeared behind Grimdora, while Grimdora said, stop moving. And then we saw there is many slash cuts on Grimdora's leg, blood is spilled around, he kneel down and scream while prepare his laser attack, then Andrea put her thumb on his head and turn the head other side, and she prepare attack and land a hit on his neck, and put his leg on his head and jump over in mid air, she shouted that she don't know what you are. But you are no Kaimayo, then she again raises her hand in mid air and said, lend me your rage. Then there's something coming from Pandora's chest, she hold it, sudden that weapon is turned into two, she hold with both hand, then we saw she scream in rage like hell, holding two axe in hands, lighting resonating with both axes, Grimdora calling, father Kaguya with fear on his face, while Andrea on is coming toward him with lighting trail, she hit him with his lighting axe surrounding area is crumbed into pile of stones, two axes on both side of Grimdora's neck he died and vanished, then, Kaguya clapping and said, an impressive introduction, kin of Leo Thomas, then she is standing crumbles ground and hold a sword and a dagger in his mouth, she said, and you are next, she is full on battle mode one hand sword, another hand axe and a dagger in mouth, look like battle queen, Kaguya says, hi to her, he wants to chat now, before you all go kill him too, if they listen he tell them why he is here, then suddenly fire javelin attacked Kaguya that he barely dodges and that hit the roof and blast them. Then Kaguya said, that could have been his head, you maniac. Then turn and says, boohoo. You boys returned way too soon, no, matter, shall we begin, then. Wolf cubs. Their Chu and Anton standing there on the ground very tense, the women's came to get their children and Kevin thinks, he had to leave the battle to the friend because he could no longer use his talent as he was completely exhausted, at that time Chu and Anton set out to attack the Kagaya.